Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get facts for MC Eternal, which I've been playing for the past few days because while I've been at home due to the COVID-19 pandemic that's been going on, I've been uh, watching the the YouTuber Yuxcast Duncan uh, play this mod pack. I wanted to give it a try, and so I did. It's pretty fun so far. I haven't really gotten very far in it, as, as you'll tell um, when I show you that Sfax is working. And, and I thought... I wanted to have a texture pack with it because fuck default it looks ugly <laughs> um so i'm going to show you guys two ways of getting this fax the texture the mods in this pack so let's get to it so first things first you're going to want to go to purebity craft and then mc eternal which i will have links in the description of the video for you guys go to the first link in the description uh scroll down uh, this terms of use thing will show up. You just click this X here. Once you click the X, uh, which accepts the uh, terms of service or whatever, terms of use, whatever, you want to go ahead and uh, collect or collect, click MC 1.12, and then select whatever resolution for the patches that your computer can handle. I'm gonna do 64-bit because the fucking uh, mod pack eats up so much of my RAM that I don't have much left over to use a 128 bit so i'm gonna use 64 so let's you selected that move this little slide over slider over to 64 bit you click download and then it will uh it'll download i'll go down here and uh while that's downloading uh you can go over here and select 64 bit as well or 128 bit or whatever uh resolution that you got for the base patch which you want to match with the base patch if i'm making any sense <laughs> anyways click download it will bring you or it'll bring you nowhere it'll just download it anyways so once those are two done downloading i will show you guys the two ways of how to get this patch i guess working so I'll see you guys in a minute all right, once those are done uh, downloading, you want to go ahead and drag and drop them both to your desktop. And then you can go ahead and close this tab, or those tabs. All right, the, the first way I'll show you guys of how to get this patch to work is like the normal way of dragging and dropping them into this one, which, which you go into assets, Drag this over here after after opening this. Close that. All right. So like usual, you go into assets here. Do Control A. Drag and drop. And uh, I'll be back once this is done. Uh, doing this thing, I guess. See you, see you guys in a minute. All right. <laughs> uh. Click OK on that, and uh, I'll be back once this is done. All right, that's done. It took a little while because it's a lot of mods that has a texture. So close both of these. You can go ahead and delete the MC Eternal patch because it's not needed anymore. And uh, you want to go ahead and go and find your location of where Twitch installs your. Uh, Minecraft mod packs too. Mine is located on my F drive because I had specifically told it to go here, uh, and for me it would be in other stuff folder. Curse or Twitch launcher Minecraft thing, curse Minecraft instances, and there's MC Eternal, and then you want to go ahead and drag and drop it into the resource pack folder, and there you go. It's in there now. And that's pretty much it. Um, I will be back, guys, once uh, freaking MC Eternal launches. It takes a bajillion years to launch. Like, holy shit. <laughs> All right, be, be right back, guys. All right, the other way to find your folder where Twitch installs it to is to go into here and... I think it was underneath... Uh, 
uh, uh, where? Settings. There it is. And then Minecraft, and then you can find it by looking at the Minecraft path here. That's the uh, other way to do it. You can also do it within the mod pack itself once it launches. You can go into resource packs and then open resource pack folder that way, which I will show you guys when the thing launches, as well I uh, want to show you the second way of getting the patch to work. So see you guys once the thing launches. I'd like to mention also that you should allocate at least 8 to 10 gigs of RAM through the Twitch launcher to make so Sfax actually works as well as the mod pack will actually launch because this is a pretty big mod pack. You can allocate more RAM to your Minecraft by going under Minecraft and then scrolling down a bit and then moving this slider um, either to as far as it'll go or however much you want to allocate. I've I've already got it selected on 8, eight gigabytes of RAM to have this pack work. Alright, that took a long ass time to load, but here we are. Now, to get to texture packs, you want to go to Options, Resource Packs, and here it is. And, uh, and, and this is also where you can get to the resource pack folder a lot easier than the other couple of ways I was showing you guys how to get there. So you want to go ahead and click over resource pack, and th this is where I'll be showing, it, showing you guys the second way of how to get the, the patch to work without dragging or dropping anything. So you want to go and grab your Sfax patch, put it in the resource pack also, or resource pack folder also, go back into Minecraft here, and then move this over, and then move this over also, and make sure that MC Eternal is above Sfax to make it work, and that's how you do it. But since I already have the patch inside Sfax, I don't really need to have that there. So let's click Done, and it'll take a bajillion years to load. So, be right back once it loads. Alright guys, as you can see, it loaded. It took a bajillion years, but here we are. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you guys my RAM usage as well with this fucking thing loaded and everything. So, uh, so, so there it is. 94% of my RAM being used with just this loaded. And uh, it's just insane. Alright, I will show you guys that most things are textured here. Or most things, I assume a lot of the things are, or all of them, or whatever. So I will load into the world. See you guys in a minute. Alright, here we go. It has loaded. Frame rate isn't the greatest, but. <laughs> what is my frame rate? 109. That's not bad. 316 mods, though. And as you can tell, Spex is working because this pressure, this canola press. The fucking UI for the coffee maker is textured. Oh god. This stuff is textured. Oh my god, the ambient sounds are so fucking loud. The fucking owl. Hello, owl. These books are textured. Let's go through the 200 pages. <laughs> you get the point. Majority of the items here are textured. There might be a few things here and there, like these hunter hunter pieces and, and, and other various items that are textured, but majority of the mods are textured, which is fantastic. So that's pretty much it of how to get specs for this mod pack. Uh, I'll probably be doing another how-to video here for like maybe Sky Factory or something like that, depending uh, if I ever get around to it, but other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell notification button so you don't miss, miss, miss any new videos I upload. Whether it be any other like how-to videos or or uh, like crisis or or just any like playthrough that I end up doing. So other than that, see you guys in the next video. See you guys.